Remember, it is your responsibility to expect this to be a great day. Today I'm going to talk about a concept I have called the seventh sense. Your seventh sense. Now we all know we have five human senses. Hearing, sight, smelling, taste, and touch. And it's through these five senses that we interpret our environment, that we make decisions and navigate through our world. We also have this fairly common idea of this notion of a sixth sense. The sixth sense being your ability to perceive or feel or have gut feelings or instincts or intuition around your environment, your world, that sit outside of your five normal senses. Well, today I'm going to ask you to consider that there might be a seventh sense. And this is something that I found to be extremely consistent across high-performing individuals found in business, entertainment, and, and, uh, and sports. And what this is, is simply a sense of destiny. A very clear understanding of where you fit in this world and more importantly, in the world that is coming towards you in the future. Most people that are standout performers have a very clear sense of destiny, where they belong, how they fit in this world. And I'm going to ask you to consider that your sense of destiny has a profound impact on your sixth sense, what you feel about you, what your gut tells you about what is possible and, 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 and largely what you should fear and what you should embrace. And that sixth sense will definitely put your five senses in a box in terms of how they, uh, how they help you navigate through life. So it turns out in, in my little um, thought experiment that, you know, this sense of destiny, this sense of purpose, this sense of be being, belonging, you know, where you fit in this world, you know, has, has, has just as much to do with where you understand you will be in the future as it does with determining where you believe you are in the present. So I ask you, what is your sense of destiny? What is your personal sense of destiny as it stands right now? And often we talk about destiny as a plot on a map, right? A, a physical place on a map. Because if you can do that in your imagination or your understanding, then it becomes logical and clear how you can draw a line between that place on the map and the place that you are right now. And suddenly, the path between those two seems possible. But there seems to me to be a relationship between your personal sense of destiny and the limits that you will use your other senses to experience. Think about that as you expect to have a great day.